has a lot of neat stuff in it. What's it called? Everything you always wanted to know about pets but forgot to ask. Ask me. I'm an expert on pets. <laughs> so listen to this. It says here that a well-trained pet is not only respectful and kind to people, but to other animals as well. Oh, true. True. What else does it say? Well, let me see. In the next chapter, it talks about how a well-trained pet is also respectful of property. I couldn't agree more. Oh, no! You really should be more careful. But, Earth... Boy, what a mess! <laughs> <laughs> the last thing it says here is that everybody should have a pet and that a pet should be loyal, loving, and obedient. Well, that's exactly what Heathcliff is. <laughs> the girl's got great taste. I don't think Grandpa would agree with you. Well, I think you're the most loyal, lovable, and obedient pet there is. Meow. Heathcliff, Marcy and me are going to go in the house and read the pet book. So we can find out how to take better care of our little darling. That's easy. Just give me better food and more of it. According to that book, everybody is supposed to have a pet who's loyal, loving, and obedient. If that's true, then I need a pet who's just like me. I sure don't want a dog as a pet. Hey, Spike, who's your best friend? Dogs certainly aren't loyal. What's the matter, Spike? Don't you like me? <laughs> and they definitely ain't lovable. Hey, Spike, roll over. Dogs are obedient. A one out of three ain't bad. But it's still not good enough. Uh, let's see. Loyal, loving. <laughs> Heathcliff, come back with that fish. Loyal, loving, and obedient. Where can I find a pet that's loyal, loving, and. Eh. Cats make crummy pets, uh, with one exception. First of all, they're not loyal. You're in my garbage can, boys. First time, first serve. Then it's my serve. Oh. <laughs> My tail, go faster! You! Oh. No. Oh. Okay, guys, let's see if you're obedient. Go fetch! Whee! Oh. Oh. Follow me! Do I have a choice? Look where you're going! Nah, cats are never obedient. They're always going their own way. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this before. You want a pet? Go to a pet store. What do you want? What? What do you want? I'm looking for a pet. Look in the mirror. What? Look in the mirror. Listen, wise guy, I need a pet that's loyal, loving, and obedient. What? What do I look like, a beagle? What? A beagle? Listen, boy brain. You got that right. What? You got that right. Huh? Uh-oh. Very funny, bird. Now let me down. Let you down? Brock! We're going to Australia, Brock! Australia! Why, 
Ah, uh, you dumb, overgrown pigeon. I may be great, but I'm not perfect. Whew. Another few inches and I would have been ketchup. Hmm. Oh, what an idea! A pet cow! Oh, my very own loyal, loving, and obedient milk factory! Move over! Hey, cow, do you know who I am? You're a moron! This is utterly unbelievable! Okay, cow, I'm taking you home. Giddy up! Bull! What'd you say? Now listen to me, you four-legged milk bottle. Huh? Oops! Bullseye! The idea of having a pet milk factory seems to have gone a little sour. Oof. Loyal, loving, and obedient. Trying to find the right pet is hungry work. <laughs> oh, waiter! You stole my fish! He stole my fish! Don't just stand there! Get him! I got him! I got him! There he is! Get him! Psst! Hey, cat! I'll get you out of here if you take me with you. Deal! Get him off me! Get him off! Huh? A deal's a deal. Hey, listen. Uh, how'd you like to be my pet? What do I look like? A beagle? Besides, this dry land bit's not for me. I gotta get back to the ocean. Oh, I guess you're right. You don't exactly have the qualities I'm looking for anyway. Hey, I know a lot of lobsters who think I'm a pretty nice guy. Uh, yeah, sure. This'll take you back to the ocean. Hey, no hot feelings. I mean, if you was a catfish, maybe things would be different. Thanks for helping me out. The pleasure was all mine. I guess I'm just not gonna find a pet who's loyal, loving, and obedient. Heathcliff, where have you been? I missed you so much. Yeah, Heathcliff, where you been? We were getting worried about you. Is my little angel Heathcliff home? I've got your favorite dish, Heathcliff. Fish stew. Yeah. You don't want fish stew? Well, how about chicken and liver? Yeah, yeah. Chicken and liver, coming up. That cat sure is finicky. Now, Grandpa, don't you go picking on our little Heathcliff. Yeah, Grandpa. That's right, Grandpa. <sighs> You wait here, Heathy. I'll bring you your dinner. Loyal, loving, and obedient. People are a cat's best friend. Hey, look at this. My favorite picture is playing down at the Bijou. Cat on a hot tin roof. Look at that. The Tigers won another game. Oh, no! This is terrible! 
What's the big deal, Riff Raff? The newspapers are always full of bad news. Yeah, but this is bad news for cats. Cats? Oh, no. That's terrible. How awful. Bad news for cats. What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna hide? Look, here's the dope, you dope. It seems that there is a cat disease around here. But don't worry about it. It strikes only one cat in a million. Pretty good odds, if you ask me. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm scared. What happens to a cat with this disease, anyway? Well, it says here that a cat with catatosis will have a twitch in his right arm, his lip quivers... What's this? Whiskers spin wildly. A cat with this disease also will flip and flop in his sleep. Yeah. Hey, guys, look at Wordsworth. He's doing all the things Riff Raff said the cat with that disease does. Will bark like a dog. Arf, arf. Will flap his arms like a bird. Will cry like a baby. <laughs> oh, no. Wordsworth had catatosis. What are we going to do? <laughs> Well, let's see what else this says. The cat will sleepwalk. Yes, sir, this sounds pretty bad, right, fellas? Now that's the craziest thing I ever heard, you big knight. I feel perfectly fine. We gotta take him to see Doc. What kind of doctor did you say this guy was, Riff Raff? Don't worry about it, wise guy. Yeah, it looks like old Doc is doing all right for himself. Yes! What is it? What do you want? A potion of some sort? Come on, get on with it. Doc, it's me, Riff Raff, your old pal. Riff Raff! Well, at least that growing potion must have worked. Doc, he's not me. I'm me, Riff Raff, the one and only. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you want? You see, my pal here, Wordsworth, has catatosis, and he doesn't even know it. Ah, yes. That's one of the symptoms, I think. Well, can you fix him up? Why, of course I can fix catatosis. Let me just look it up. I'll be right back. Don't worry, the doc will have you fixed up in a few minutes. Hey, man, what's the plan? I'm not sick. What's the trick? Ta da! Ba 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 boom. Ba 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 boom. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see here now. Cat Atosis. He's the sick cat. I don't think you should. I feel real good. <laughs> I can't seem to find catatosis anywhere. That's okay. Stick your tongue out. Yes, okay. Lift your right leg. Very good. Now lift your left arm. That's fine. Now hop up and down like this. Hey, this kid slipped his lid. Okay, you can stop now. This guy is 100% fine. A little stupid, maybe, but nevertheless, he's okay. But he did all of the stuff. Listen, do I look like I'm crazy? That one's up for debate. If you want to be certain, I will give you a cure. Get your friend a hair from an alligator. That will do the trick. Now you're talking, Doc. Thanks. <laughs> Let's find one of these gators so I can catch you guys later. Yeah, what is an alligator anyway? I've never seen one, but don't worry, we'll find one. Wake up those big lizards. Lunch time. Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Roar, you guys. 
if you think you're wise. Boy, that was a close one. Let's see. Alligators, alligators. Oh, look, here's a picture. Yikes! Alligators? You mean to tell me that those guys were alligators? Well, they're not so tough. All they are is a couple of overstuffed lizards. Look, guys, I feel okay. Let's split. What do you say? We're not going anywhere until we got what we came here for. The hair off one of those guys' heads. <laughs> now, don't worry, guys. Just leave it up to old Riffy. I got their number. <laughs> you may, this is the end of my day. Now hold your horses, boys. We've come all this way to get the cure for our pal Wordsworth here. Now let's get it. Wordsworth says he's okay. That's one of the problems with catatosis. It makes cats lie. Now come on. What are you guys, chickens? Who turned out the lights? I think we lost them. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Riff Raff, please. <gasps> yeah. Let's say later to the gator. Huh. I'm getting worn out by all this running around. Okay. Have it your way. I was just trying to help out a pal. If you guys feel that way about it, then let's get out of here. Let's see here. Where did that boat go? Rubbo. What? No hair. Oh, no. Doc, you told us to get a hair off an alligator, remember? Yes, I remember. Well, I would like to bring to your attention that, number one, alligators ain't the friendliest of animals. Yeah, and they don't have any hair either. Don't have any hair, do they? Well, thanks for telling me. I must write that down. Well, your friend looks to me just fine now anyway. This here's the sick one, Doc. Well, he looks just fine, too. Must have been the exercise. Exercise! Next! Putting the cat out at night isn't always a great idea. Yipes! In fact, sometimes it's a rotten idea. Oh, this is ridiculous. Let me in! Must have been the wind. Heathcliff! Okay, okay, you made your point. Remember, your cat's only human.
Mágica! 